Good afternoon from Disney's Hollywood Studios. We figured since Star Wars The Last Jedi just came out, we would come to the park that has the most Star Wars in it and see if we could find any references to The Last Jedi. There's a few things over by Galaxy's Edge, which is the new Star Wars land that will be opening up in the future that we still have to see. First, we need to get some lunch. So of course we have lots of magic bands. These are, it doesn't say, okay, hold on. This is where it gets hard. This is an A. So that means that A is $22.99. We've got a bunch, these are all A. They're all Magic Band 2 Star Wars. And then we've got this Ray, The Last Jedi Magic Band. Let's see if I can get it open here. This is cool. Oh, and look, there's Kylo too. Is it the same? Same on either side? There's only 4,000 of these made. So this one is $32.99. Oh, I dropped it. Oh dear. Oh, it is. I didn't notice. It's the same one. Rey and Kylo. Star Wars The Last Jedi. That's what all these are. And then there's this one right here. The Last Jedi Star Wars. Let's see. And this is the same price. This one's $32.99. Let's see what this one looks like on the inside. This one's pretty cool. It's a First Order Magic Band. I like that it's black. I have a black Magic Band that doesn't have anything on it, and I do have to tell you that they do scratch up very easily. All those Magic Bands were in the camera shop, right as soon as you walk in on the right. All right, now let's try to find something to eat. I want to try to get into Brown Derby or outside in the lounge to get their Cobb Salad. I've heard so many good things about their Cobb Salad, and I'm feeling like a Cobb Salad. Put my name in at the Brown Derby outside lounge. It'll be about 15 minutes before I can get a table, then I'm going to get my Cobb Salad. It should cost me about 10 bucks. There it is. The Brown Derby's famous Cobb salad. It's uh, pretty small for $11. Hopefully it's good. I've heard it's good. That salad was actually really good. I wish there was a standard for soda water though. Every time I go somewhere I order a soda water, sometimes it's free or sometimes it costs me $3.50 like it did over there. So the meal after tax ended up being around $16 with tip and everything. So not too bad because it, it was kind of a small salad, but it was good. It was good. I would I'd probably do it again. Back to the Star Wars stuff. Let's head into Launch Bay and see what they've got in here. Just talked to the cast member out front and there's also a new movie in the theater. We're gonna try to go and see that later. So now we're gonna go into the Launch Bay and check out the new exhibit with the new artifacts from the new film. So the biggest issue is uh, I'm not very good at knowing Star Wars stuff. So this is a droid tri-fighter. Is this from the new movie? What I'm ultimately hoping is that some of the models have Rogue One or The Last Jedi on it so that I can tell which ones are from what movies. You guys want to go pod racing? They have a bunch of helmets here and here's one that I haven't seen yet is Poe's helmet from The Force Awakens. Oh look, there's Phasma's helmet. Look, there's Rey and her speeder, but this is not from the new movie. I don't think she drives her speeder in the new movie. And there's the reason why we don't recognize C-3PO in the new movies because he doesn't have his gold arm anymore. He's got a red arm. Oh, okay. So there's a sign here that says that there's a preview gallery of The Last Jedi. So let's see what we've got in here. There's a model of an ATM-6. I always thought that these were interesting because they're like walking on their knuckles down here. I wonder why they decided to change the design. It definitely looks meaner up front though. Ooh, look, there's Ray's, Ray's lightsaber. Right? Oh, originally Anakin. Okay. And his son Luke. Right, all right. So, whose lightsaber is it? There's Rose Tico's medallion. And a resistance blaster. There's the Millennium Falcon. What a piece of junk. She'll make 0.5 fast light speed. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. A resistance ski speeder. Pose blaster. And then a resistance bomber. And then we come over to the First Order side. There's a First Order TIE Fighter. Oh, Starfighter? Kylo Ren's Silence Fighter. And then a First Order Dreadnought, or Dreadnought. First Order Fleet Gunner Helmet. How does he see? There's Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Canto Bites Pistol. And a Guard Whip. There's a life-size Darth Vader bus that you can buy for $1,100. They have these special Last Jedi pins. I think they're pins. They're $60. And then they have this Star Wars collectible key set. They're $35 a piece. They have for sale all of the app-enabled droids from Sphero. They even have the BB-9E. 
And the R2-D2, too. I didn't realize that they had the droid factory in here. The drone protocol droid. They also have the BB-9E pop figure for $15. They have a whole section of Skywalker Vineyards wines, but then they have these signed bottles down here. I can't tell who signed them. That's not George Lucas, right? Who do you guys think this signature is? Because I cannot tell. But there's a bunch of them. They have a lot of signed bottles. Here it is, the exclusive Solo story. The story of Han Solo that will be one of the next movies that comes out. So I asked, and apparently that was the signature of the vice president or the president of Skywalker Vineyards. This store still has an old school MGM Studios sign. Let's go have a look back in Pixar Studios area and see if we can see any construction updates. Well, it looks like the area that will be the new entrance to Toy Story Land is all done. There used to be a walkway that connected these two buildings and they took it out. So we're walking into the Pixar area here next to Midway Mania. You can see into Star Wars Land and you can, they've started to add some of the chicken wire structure on top of the framing in order to make it look more like rocks. So pretty soon they're gonna start adding concrete on top and we're gonna have rocks right there. Judging by the look of this area right here with the orange barricades on top, I think that's gonna be a huge berm or a wall. So we're not gonna be able to see anything from this area for very much longer. Checking into the stage show from the backside. You guys know that I like watching it from the back. Also, you guys see that right there? That's the fireworks for the end of the show. So we should have a really good view of them. What I always do, as I watch to see when these guys put their hands over their ears, then I know that the fireworks are gonna go off. BB-8 just popped up. Ray just came out on stage too. Here she comes. Good God! Oh, I missed it. It was over there. What the heck was I looking at here? It's the exact same thing right there. But I wonder what was going on with that. Maybe they set the other one off earlier. Oh, look. That's neat. It's like resetting it. Where do they come out? They've changed things around here a little bit. Maybe they don't walk past anymore. Let's see where they go. Oh, they're going over there. Looks like they walk out that way. Oh. So this is new. So if you guys want to see the characters, make sure you guys line up on the side of the stage over here. There goes Ray and Chewie. Bye, Ray and Chewie. Are those the only good guys? It's just Ray and Chewie. Just to give you guys a little bit of perspective, this is the back of the stage setup. They used to come out and walk that way and go into the Chinese theater. Now they come off this way and go towards Launch Bay over there. Let's head over to Grand Avenue. I know that they've taken down some of the walls and we can see the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the new Star Wars land. Let's go see it. There's the goof in his normal meet and greet location. Goofing it up. Oh, they're excited. So there it is. This will be the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So I believe that this area was behind walls before. Oh yeah, look here. This is something that a lot of people were showing off on Twitter. Lots of different names in here, but so far, none of them work. Maybe one day they'll put something in there. So this is all new to me. We haven't seen this before because it's been behind walls. This is nice. Does anybody read music? Do you guys know what song this is? This is a start right here. I don't know. Can you guys tell what it is? Oh, look at this fancy tuba. I think it might be a French horn. There's not very many, not very much piping to it. So now we are headed over towards the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. This is neat. Oh, there's like a fancy guitar down here. This is nice. Ooh, look at these. This is nice. It's a very nice display. And then this will be the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right here. And I'm assuming that's what it's gonna look like when we walk in. This is actually very far away from everything on Grand Avenue back there. It's a lot further back than I thought it was. This is what it should look like on the other side of this tunnel. There'll be a giant Millennium Falcon, lots of rocks. So I think it's gonna be very similar to Pandora. I hope there's a walking trash can. It's all that I ever wanted out of a Star Wars land. I wanna take a photo with this guy. Look at him. How is he even holding that gun? He barely even has hands. Why does he look less advanced than C-3PO, but this all takes place after all of the films? There it is. 
I just tried to step up on a curb and there's, there's a ramp here. Just to give you guys some perspective, there's the entrance to Galaxy's Edge, and then we turn, we can see them doing some work up there, and over there is the backside of what will be Mickey's Runaway Railway. It is now the Chinese Theater, what was Great Movie Ride. This is that new music store that we were showing off. This is Grand Lofts where I was looking through the directory, and that's where the wall used to be. You can actually see it in the concrete here where the wall used to be. So there's actually a lot more space open now. There's, it's a great distance between there and the front of Grand Avenue and even Muppets Courtyard. Speaking of Muppets Courtyard. Oh no, they don't want me to call it Muppets Courtyard anymore. They want me to call it Grand Park. Still gonna call it Muppets Courtyard. Miss Piggy's Fountain is back, but we're missing some of the Muppets. Oh, there's a one of Rizzo, but there was a Fozzie over here too. We're getting some of them back. Here's some of the rats. They're using magnets and fishing rods to pull up some of the coins that they're seeing on the bottom. And look, he's down there scuba diving, pulling out dollar bills. That is amazing. I do hope that Fozzie comes back though. From the looks of it, you can kind of see right here some new plumbing. So I think that that was probably the main reason that this was closed for so long, was them redoing the plumbing. And it kind of looks like there's some more stanchions or standoffs over here, mounts, for other Muppets and other characters in here. And as we said last time, at the exit of Muppets, they put a big wall here so we can't really see into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge anymore. Back here next to Pizza Rizzo, I found Santa. And then also I like that the windows up here, you can see presents and a Christmas tree inside of there. Still, no Santa, but still pretty neat. Now it seems like our best view of the Star Wars construction is from over here by the bathrooms in Muppets Courtyard. That right there is the highest point in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Oh yeah, you can kind of see a lot over here. It's, it's very backlit, but it looks like, that looks like just a bunch of rock work over there. There's all the young Jedi waiting to go up on stage and participate in the Jedi Training Academy, Trials of the Temple. So I think that we've seen all of the Star Wars stuff that pertains to The Last Jedi in this park that's new, I thought maybe I should go on like Star Tours or something like that. Can't get any fast passes and the lines are an hour long. We're gonna go check down by Tower of Terror, see what we can see down there, but I think we've seen everything. Before I get to Tower of Terror, let's have a look inside of Real Vogue and see what they have in there. They have a whole section devoted to Coco, and then there's a guitar here It says, try me. I don't, what do, do I have to press here? Whoa, this is cool. This one's working. I can't do it with one hand. Wow, that's kind of fun. And honestly, it's not bad. It's only $40. Came down by Tower of Terror to see what the wait time was. 70 minutes. Yeah, it seems that the app was correct. I just noticed in Sweet Spells, they have Rice Krispie Treats with Chewy and the Porgs. BB9E. BB8, but he's got different, oh, he's like, got M&Ms in him too. That actually looks really good. I might get this. Want a Stormtrooper up here? And then some Star Wars themed uh, candy floss. Sour blaster bits that are sour cherry gummy candy. These are all 550. Some Cina Ren candy, like cinnamon, but Cina Ren. Chewy candy. And then some Astromech treats, orange sour balls. For $5, they have a shortbread cookie with a stormtrooper on it. This is interesting. I wonder if these candy coated apples are gonna end up looking like Porgs or, oh no, they're gonna look like Mickey. It's, it's definitely gonna be Mickey. I wanted to show you guys, there is an ATAT -AT popcorn bucket for sale here for $25 and the popcorn fits right inside the top right there. Then there's a BB-8 drink cup too. I don't know how much the BB-8 drink cup is. Oh, there it is, $15. Just before we leave, I was stopped inside of Mickey and Company and I noticed that they have this BB-9E plush here. Let's see, how much is it? $12, that's not too bad. So, um, these are already available over in the outlets, so maybe don't buy them here. I, I think they were five or $6 at the outlets. Some Star Wars Droid Factory, Last Jedi, R4X2, and a Y5X2. This guy, he looks like he has a little face on him. I don't know if we showed this before, but the R3H17, there's a little droid with some mistletoe. For $65, do you want a gigantic Porg backpack? They also have this hoodie from The Last Jedi for $50. It's pretty cool. Now I get it. She says, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? But 
Why? What? What is going on here? Disney, what are you doing? I know that this isn't Star Wars, but they do have, for $10, some Jingle Bell Jingle Bam cups. That's actually a clearance tag. It's kind of interesting. Are all of these on clearance? Because nobody, nobody wants them. Oh no. This one too. $14 for Jingle Bell Jingle Bam shirt. Give it another week or so, it'll be in the outlets for five. As we're getting closer and closer to the front, I just noticed the store that I told you the Magic Bands were in, the camera store here, they have a Santa up top and all kinds of cameras in the garland. Right up near the front, there's a Coke stand here and they have a wild cherry slushy that you can get in this Mickey cup that looks like a Christmas ornament. Here's something that I did not realize is that they play Jingle Bells, Jingle Bam, the fireworks show at 6.30, and then they also do Star Wars The Galactic Spectacular at nine tonight. So that's two fireworks shows here at Hollywood Studios. So there you have it. That is everything that we could find that was Star Wars The Last Jedi here around Disney's Hollywood Studios. And even a couple of little extra things here and there that weren't Last Jedi, maybe some holiday stuff. So if you are a fan of Star Wars and if you're a fan of The Last Jedi, I do highly recommend coming out to Disney's Hollywood Studios because this is kind of a Star Wars centric park at the moment. But with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Billy and I'm from Boston and now it's time to pay the price.